What is happening everybody? It's a sunny morning after a stormy night and I'm getting ready to clear all this off the hood. I've been trying to get this scratch out. I got dinged for having this minuscule scratch on the windshield that I'm not very really happy about. I don't like the fact that the inspectors have a shop and they're incentivized to find little things wrong like this. Some of the stuff I agree with, but here we are. I've uh, been working on it with this here, and I even put some pads on this to be a little more aggressive. I even used some 2500 uh, grade wet sandpaper on it, and I ended up putting a, a haze around the scratch. And then I took some of the haze off last night, but I'm just not quite getting there. So what I'm doing today, I'm gonna bring you along and, and edit it up, one of my, one of my rare, things i'm gonna get this off of here hook the trailer up to the yukon get everything out of that trailer because i've only got till the 28th of this month and my uh dumping pass expires and at the very least i got to get what's in there out of there and hopefully get more trips in than than just this one so i'm gonna hook the trailer up go dump i'm gonna circle back by the home uh harbor freight and get me some discs for my angle grinder that are buffing discs so I can ramp up the power a little bit without having to buy a, a uh, heavy duty uh, buffer. And so I'm gonna get back on this and I'm gonna film the, the uh, electronic doorknobs. I'm gonna get that film today. And so this is really holding me up on making an income because I'm looking at all these things and they all require me to have valid plates and be able to submit my registration and be all clear on all that. So I've got to still figure out how I'm going to finance rotors and um, all the stuff. I can't remember the list, all the other stuff it needs. It needs a back middle light. It needs a light bulb. It needs back shocks, all the stuff that he dinged me on. And then I've got to get HEPA certified and some other certified to deliver medical supplies. I think that's what I'm going to go with after heavy uh, consideration going back and forth on lawn care. The mower is um, still cutting a groove in the grass so the blades aren't perfectly lined up. One of them is a little bit off. And so do I take the deck off and flip it under and get it all leveled up and, and test that out today? Do I dump today? Do I film another review that I've been sitting on forever today? These are the things of being in a house and having to get things done. But if we didn't have challenges, we probably wouldn't be breathing. So I'm up, I'm up for it. Let's go. Uh, let's get on with it. this point I turn the camera off set it down get my gloves on walk around back and discover that I got out of the house with the wrong set of keys <clears throat> and I'm not unlocking that trailer everything it's stacked to the top and everything inside of it's got to come out the side door I mean that's just the way it is and so I put the camera down and I settle in to getting the job done and boy I wish I would have been filming because something happened afterwards that I would have loved to have captured on film, but I talk about it right here. Let's take a look. Never a dull moment 
boy, if I could have just had the cameras on for that. I don't know what the time difference is. I'd say it's about an hour and a half later. And I'm, I get there and lo and behold, I left the house with the wrong set of keys to unlock the back, but the side door happens to be open. And I, and I just told myself, you know what? This is how it's happening. You're not going back. And so I'm picking things out. I can't even pull anything out of the side door. And so the guy gives me my spot. I back into my spot and I get to the point where stuff is light enough on top of it that I can even pull stuff out. And here I go. I'm just going to, I'm just going to get the job done. And it took me so long that by the time I was almost finished, the, all the trucks that were next to me have left and the big truck has scraped the trash up into the pile. And now I'm kind of sticking out like a sore thumb, if you can visualize that. And the guy gets out of the, the scraper. I'm just going to call it the big scraper, the big machine with the teeth for uh, on a belt. And he says, you got to move. You're sticking out. And I said, all right, you know, whatever. I'm not trying to have a bad day, but he uh, dropped an F-bomb in the process. And I thought, did that guy just use profanity on me? And listen, if somebody uses profanity on you or treats you disrespectfully, do something about it. You call them out on it. Don't do it to anybody else, by the way, but you know, you don't put up with it. And I don't put up with it. And so I'm thinking about that and I'm relocating and I guess I back in, I'm a little flustered because now I feel like I'm in a big hurry and there's a bunch of noises from the machines. And uh, so I back in, uh, not straight. You know, I'm not jackknife, but I'm not straight with the other vehicles. Now listen, it's got, I'm in four wheel drive just to be able to move. And uh, it's, I'm on this huge mulch pile that's all you know, unlevel. So I'm doing this as I'm backing up. I'm actually not doing a bad job for a guy that hasn't backed up a trailer in a while in that situation. But I wasn't straight. And he comes out and he gets out again. And I'm thinking, man, I move for the guy. And I said, and he's saying, what, don't you know how to back up straight? And I said, I guess not today, but I'm thinking to myself, all I gotta do is get rid of this debris that's on the ground. I've already gotten the bags out. I'm just gonna get this snow shovel and scrape all the the you know the drop droppings or whatever out and be on my way i even had a my uh blower my leaf blower but i didn't want to use it under the circumstances because there was a lady right next to me in her jeep and you know i had a blast her so so he he comes out and he goes don't you know how to back up straight i say well i guess not today and i said did you use profanity on me earlier and he comes right back that much the stronger with more of it you know dropping f-bombs and saying, you know, I can't remember what he was saying. It was something just uh, with a disrespectful tone that a guy in a dump truck that didn't like you would say. And I'm saying to him, you're better than that. What are you doing using language like that? You're better than that. And when I'm saying that, he just gets more angry and leans into me and turns his hat around. And he says, I'll F you up. And I say to him, of course you would. Look at you and look at me. Of course you would, what are you talking about? I'm just here to dump my trash and have a good day. So I left and you know, I'm not gonna let that slide. So I go to, I find the manager here in building three and I tell him the whole story that I just <clears throat> told you. And uh, as I'm in the truck getting my bearings to head out to the, you know, find the uh, Harbor Freight for my next stop, he's already in his truck and pulls up beside me and wants my contact information. So I really appreciate that. And by the way, he took it really well and I pointed out to him, hey man, we're just at the dump here. And if this guy wants to get upset over something like that with me, an old guy by himself trying to get the job done moving slow, I said, you know, we're all, half of us that come here are amateurs. We're not used to being at the dump. A lot of us, it's our first trip and we don't know what to expect and we're kind of confused half uh, halfway. And, and he's all, no, I totally understand. And he shouldn't be talking to you like that. And so I'm gonna fix it. And I said, now listen, when I come back, I've got more trips. I don't want him to be all, uh, you know, up in my face in retribution style. And I would like it even if he would apologize to me, but not angry apologizing like he got forced to, just like he's relaxed and chill. It gives me a fist bump and said, hey man, I was having a bad day, sorry about that. And now we're cool. That kind of, you know, apology. But if I don't get it, I don't get it. Point I'm making is, I still got a bunch of stuff to do today but you can see how it affected my uh, disposition from earlier. 
and uh, don't let anybody disrespect you. And it doesn't mean you got to fist fight them. Just usually, if you just tell them, that's enough. But if you tell them you're, they're better than that, or even if you want to say they're, they maybe they shouldn't work with retail or work with customers. I've gone that route. Anyway, on with the day. We're here at the Harbor Freight where I'm going to be looking at some uh, buffer pads that fit a five inch uh, angle grinder and see if that does a better job on the window. I'm not seeing anything here that's going to fit the uh, angle grinder that's not, you know, gritty to, to tear stuff up, N nothing polishing wise. And the uh, buying a whole outfits out of the budget. So I'm gonna go back and see what's going on with uh, Home Depot or some of these other places. I've got a lot of room in between here and home to look for other things. All right, we're at the Home Depot. Let's see how we make out. Well, this uh, aisle looks pretty worked over and I don't even know if they would have it if it was fully stocked. So let's see what else we can figure out. It doesn't look like I'm going to find what I'm looking for today. So I'm going to go ahead and settle in on this kit right here that I guess fits on your drill, which I was really hoping I'd get the RPMs out of my angle grinder. But here's where we are. If you've ever used one of these, it's got a, a uh, tough, medium, and then soft pad. I don't think I use the, the toughest setting. I'll just go straight to the medium and see if that puts a haze on the glass. If it does put a hate on the glass, I might even live with it till I get down to the scratch. But if you've ever used one of these and can give me some tips, bear in mind I'm just using it on a DeWalt uh, cordless drill, but I've got the big battery for it so I can make that thing really sing. And then I also picked up some stuff that I've needed, some stuff and some drinks. I got a Dr. Pepper for Becca when we get home and some cold drinks and some stuff just to have in the Yukon. So I think we're gonna head home and Maybe see if we did any good today with this uh, purchase. We at least got the trailer dumped and uh, see what we can salvage with the day we've got left. Well, there you have it. That's how my day shook out. I hope you're having a good one and uh, we'll see you on the next upload.